The Minnesota Marine Art Museum, located here in Winona, recently unveiled eight new works of art that are currently on display. MMAM Executive Director Andrew Maus believes this to be the largest single edition of works to the museum's collection of art. Since I've been here, which is um, approaching about five years, um, we have, boy, I think we've had nine or ten unveilings. Everything from Picasso to Van Gogh to Matisse, Turner, um, all kinds of really, really great stuff um, for this area. And uh, this was, we've never had an unveiling with this many pieces, though, unveiled at a single time. Each of the paintings are significant in their own way. Among the new additions is a view on Hounslow Heath, painted by Richard Wilson in 1770. The painting was the first to feature nature as the sole subject. Uh, this is a, a painting that essentially started the landscape tradition as we know it today, as being um, artists who are reflecting a, a, a really sincere appreciation for nature. Um, so not necessarily painting some big event, um, not necessarily painting for any um, religious purpose or to describe any sort of story or narrative, uh, really just a painting of nature. Um, this artist and this painting came from that, that, this is the pivotal, that was the pivotal moment um, of the 18th century when, when, uh, when things changed uh, in paintings of land, river, and sea, which is what the museum does. Other artists represented at the unveiling included John Constable, Martin Andreas Reisner, John Quitter, Stuart Davis, Max Beckman, Daniel Ridgway Knight, and Martin Johnson Heed. Heed's A View from Fern Tree Walk is the largest painting you'll find on display at the museum. Is a Hudson River School painter, an American, um, of, uh, of European descent who, in the 19th century, these guys really sought out to create um, a very um, uh, American style of landscape painting. Um, and it came with it with a lot of romantic notions of, of um, uh, westward expansion in the United States and so on and so forth. But they also painted in, in other places, in this case, Jamaica, which is where the, the painting was made. Um, it is definitely going to be uh, located in the museum's upcoming new gallery, which is the Richard and Jane Manoogian Gallery. And, uh, and that's opening to the public on um, September 28th. And uh, certainly the Martin Johnson Heat will have a prominent place in that, uh, in that new space. To be included in the collections of art at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum, a painting must include a water element. Mouse explained what else is looked for when considering a painting. I look at what the museum has um, in two ways. One, as, a, a, um, as an artist and an art historian. The second, though, is um, what's valuable for the region to have access to. We are, we're interested in quality. Um, we're interested in pushing the boundaries of what marine art is, um, which is something we've done from, um, since I've been here the last five years. We're really, really boundary pushing. Um, but, you know, the practical purpose is every um, artwork um, before it goes into a museum has to have a strong provenance. It has, to, um, uh, it has to show, we have to be shown um, the history of that object and where it came from. Um, there's certainly plenty of um, legal reasons for doing so, but also because when people come here, they're so shocked by the fact that there's Van Gogh and Picasso and Monet and all of these things. Oftentimes, the first question is, are these real? You know, are, are, they, or are they just high-quality reproductions? Um, so as a museum, we're interested in authenticity. We're not going to show, uh, we're not going to collect, we're not going to exhibit um, objects that aren't significant and real. We have great collecting partners um, that help us build collections um, for the community. Um, there are um, advisors involved, um, plenty of discussion. Um, the art world's an interesting place, and sometimes it's actually quite small um, in, in some ways. Um, um, obviously, some artwork, artworks are easier to get than others. Um, I think at the event, we talked about the difficulty of, of anyone um, attaining a John Constable these days, because there are actually, um, there's actually legislation which limits the ability to, um, to bring a, a John Constable outside of Great Britain. And, uh, and so there are, um, certainly easier artworks to get than others. But uh, we are uh, we're pretty good at doing what we do, I'll say that.
As Mouse mentioned, a new gallery is opening in just a couple of weeks. The Richard and Jane Manugian Gallery opens on September 28th.